Hey Aries, welcome to your general love read. We're going to be uh, going through a unique reading today that Spirit has given me. Um, and as such, it may not resonate for everyone. There will be a part midway where we're going to pull for singles, couples, and those in divine partnerships, twin flames. Um, so there is that. Things other than love may come out in this. Okay, just take it as it resonates and leave the rest. I found while I was cleaning out my closet loose older decks of my um, Mindset Unicorn affirmation cards. So now I've got like a giant, like collective pre reading pool deck. I know. I'm losing it. I'm losing it, Aries. For those of you that are new, welcome. I am an intuitive, so much of what you see on this channel, do not expect it to be traditional. For those of you um, that are continuing to stay with me and my crazy, my woo, thank you. I love you. All right. So for the collective, <laughs> you've got fall, birth, winter. Okay, so I feel like for the collective, you may have walked away from something, <clears throat> okay, and now you're like in this birthing process, but you're also in a separation period. Okay, so it's very interesting energy there. Okay, the intention here is, yeah, you're like, not one more thing. Okay, I cannot take one more thing, at least not this week. Um, and the thing is, is that it's your monkey brain that's putting you under all this stress. It's that primal brain. It's that neocortex loop. Okay, so just know that you just need to get out of your head. All right. So we're going to start by pulling some oracle cards. Okay, we're going to get from the animal oracle here, and we're going to get from the soul truth, and then we're going to get rolling. Okay, if you would like a general reading, um, then all that information is down below in the description box. Okay. And I love this. You get the Orca Well, which is about family, about community. Okay. And it's about an adventure that you are perhaps getting ready to start, especially the Orca and the birth. Um, dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. And look, the one is like leaping, leaping ahead. The, under, the other one is still underwater, protecting the family. Okay, that might ring some truth for some of you. So in the soul truths here, the questions you get. When was the last time I danced freely? Okay, dance because it will shift you into a beautiful state because it will get you out of your head. Hmm? What did we just talked about a minute ago? It'll get you out of your head and into your body and heart because fear lives in the head along with anxiety, control, guilt, frustration, and impatience. In just a few minutes of dancing, you will make the shift. You will feel a charge of joy and confidence take over you and feel a soul reminder to live and lead from your heart. Dancing is a tool to ground us in the now. It triggers happiness and it is the gateway to freedom to become free dance. Okay, so where can I ask for more help in my life? 
Until we receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. That is a quote from Brene Brown. Okay. Am I consistently showing up? Some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress. Success requires showing up in every single day, even when you don't feel like it, and even when it feels uncomfortable. It takes you on an endless, oh no, it takes guts. Hmm. You might be going on an endless loop, but it takes guts and an endless vision to stay consistent in your dream. Okay, so let's look at this. What has you in your head, okay? Let's look at what has you in your head here. Why you need to dance. Why does Aries need to dance? Okay, because you have been, ah, oh, all of a sudden, itchy nose, lots of energy. Okay, you kind of stood your ground on something and you're holding on to whatever it is that you stood your ground on and you're just like, I'm not, I'm not going to leap, period. Okay, at the bottom of this little drop, we kind of get the story. Okay, we've got this one crow trapped and there's a decision to make, right, about two crows. And there's the 1111, okay, the four of wands and the two crows that are in this divine connection. And it's almost as if Right? You're like, until this all comes to me, I'm not moving. Okay? And you're definitely not going to dance standing on a round piece of wood on the edge of a cliff. Right? And it comes down to that judgment, right? Like, you know you have a decision to make here. And we've got the hermit here. But you're in the middle of that winter, right? That separation, that shit storm where you can't see the star, the wish through the storm. And so there's this part of you that's like, I just, I can't see clear enough to choose what I want to choose. So instead, I'm just going to stand here until something comes along and chooses for me. Okay. So... What do you need to know here, okay, to open your heart? What do you need to know, Aries, to open your heart? What are you asking for? Okay, Ace of Pentacles with the Four of Swords here, and then the Ace of Swords. This crow is dead, okay? Whatever is dead here, it's laying on clarity, right? It's like taken out clarity. It's gone through the heartache. If you want to receive this beautiful new beginning, right? Even though there's a bit of a storm when you do, there is the energy that you have to stand up and take that Ace of Swords and cut through the BS, okay? And realize what is there for you to receive, okay? And let's look at where you're trading, okay, your dreams for comfort. Where is Aries trading? Dreams for comfort. It 
it comes down to this choice that you're not making. And there's the separation, okay? Seven of Cups is in reverse. So you know there's an option here for you. Now this could be in love, this could be in career, right? This could be chasing after a dream for your career. It doesn't have to be in love, but you know there's an option, okay? There's a dream here. But I've got a lot of money right now. I've got a lot of pentacles right now. I don't want to shift this. Three of pentacles and five of pentacles. I don't want to shift any of this. I'm just going to stay right here, okay? And that's not going to give you what you want, Aries, okay? So let's clarify here. Tell me about, all right, seven of wands. Yeah, okay. For some of you, um, Like you have worked very hard to get here. You've taken a very traditional path, nine of stones. And again, you're just not going to take a leap of faith without getting everything, right? So the reason that you're stuck in this hermit energy is because you're really, you're insecure about taking this risk, about getting rejected. Um, you may have had like rejections throughout your life that this kind of brings up for you. And yeah, Ten of Swords, okay. Instruction. This is a lesson from the universe on how to choose for yourself. Okay. But you're struggling through that. So tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning. Yeah, it's a balance. It's coming together. For some of you, it's within union of yourself with others. It is, right, I'm getting it could be like a, like it's justice. Like getting what is yours, the recognition, the, um, the rewards for what you've been doing with this new Ace of Pentacles, okay? Four of Swords here. Yeah, Seven of Cups in reverse again with the Eight of Cups. You're refusing to move away from something that's already dead, okay? It's already done. You've already emotionally at least mourned it, but you're refusing to move away from that. How do you pick up that sword and get the clarity? Really, it's just listening to your ancestors, right? Listening to the drum beat, following your that divine balance, right? To the hierophant. This hierophant is very divinely balanced in feminine and masculine, right? So tell me about this choice that you keep refusing to make. Okay, we've got the Empress here and we've got the Knight of Wands. Okay, there's somebody very curious, perhaps, um, that you see as being a little unstable and out of reach. Okay, because this Empress, her hands are like claws, so she can't really reach for what she wants. She's healing, right? She's healing her head. She's got the fire in her belly for this, but out of reach. Three of Pentacles here. Again, the clarity is that the past is done. Okay? Ace of Swords, the world, right? The season is over for whatever partnership you have been working through. And... Five of Pentacles here, right? The winter. You're refusing to look at how this would balance you. Again, we've got the Injustice. Uh, two of Arrows to the Ace of Wands, okay? The Ace of Bows. You're not going to see this until the fire is a blazing. You're just, you're refusing, right? Until the fire is so big that I can't, I can't refuse it. 
I'm not going to look at it. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and pull a couple of Romance Angels. Yeah, again, <clears throat> Aries, you are in separation from something here. Okay. And... It's like you've kind of take, you've taken a break from it. The honeymoon card, the way that they're showing me today, is that like the full moon in Aquarius was so much for you, right? That you were just like, I'm just taking a break from this. Okay? In your head, you're still thinking about this person all the time, but you're just, you're not opening your heart, right? I, you're like, mm, no, taking a break. advice on that spirit says okay surround yourself with positivity especially i feel like with frequency okay um connect yourself with source right listen to frequency listen to meditations um listen to that which will lift you back up okay get you into that heart space and out of that head space so let's see what's going on here for the singles. Okay. What's going on for the singles? What's going on for the couples? And what's going on for those with the divine partnership? Okay, singles. You are, right, on this honeymoon, right, you've taken a break from love. But you're in the emotions, but you're on a boat. Okay, your shadows are still following you, but you're like, I'm heading towards happiness. I'm heading towards the sun. But we've got eight and ten, so you're actually heading towards the other moon. Okay, you're actually heading towards the other full moon in Aquarius. There is something destined to be illuminated for you between now and this next full moon. All right, and so it's really important that you understand that, that you um, listen to that, and that you don't just stay out of the emotions, out of your heart. Let's clarify this, okay? Yeah, again, the chariot. There is movement forward, right? And there we've got the new moon to the full moon. So there is definitely something that's going to come to light between these two situations that um, you need to hear, that you need to see. And perhaps it's going to be someone that is about to enter your pathway or has just entered your pathway, King of Cups, and the love that they have for you, the blessings within this. Okay, this person also has the fish, so it could be a water sign, um, but the fish for me always reminds me of the Pisces in your divine, okay, the divine partnership. So this could be a divine partnership with the King of Cups coming towards you, okay? Or if you are the King of Cups, if you are a divine masculine, um, be patient. You are calling forward that love, okay? For the couples, <laughs> you're completing a cycle, couples. Okay, the Divine Feminine here is playing this game called I'm not going to pay attention to you and I'm going to sit here guarded in solitude. Okay? The Divine Masculine is also in their head 
but they're gaining awareness, okay? They're manifesting what they want within this, okay? So there is a completion of the cycle that's taking place here. Now let's clarify this. Yeah, this is a divine partnership here, okay? The lovers, um, and you are very, you are very bonded together. They are, again are showing me here that the divine feminine is like, nope, I'm not looking at this. I'm looking at everything else but this, but that divine masculine, okay? They're like the wind, you can see their scarf is pulling out this way. Like, they're like, I'm creating the wind. I'm manifesting the wind. I'm pulling you to me. And you, you feel that, okay? For the divine partnership here, we do get that this is a partnership, okay? For some of you, the partnership is in work, okay? For others of you, this could, you know, be someone that you've been in and out of a relationship with. We also have conflict and despair in reverse, right? I see the illumination here is at the top. So it is about the illumination coming in. Um, but someone's not able to see it here, right? The three here, the third eye, which is also a six. Someone's not being able to see it. So let's clarify this. Yeah, again, it's divine timing, the world, ending the cycle. Um, somebody needed to be motivated to move towards this. Page of Pentacles in reverse. And it took, I feel like, the other stepping back. Okay, and I feel like that this would be you, Aries, not being open to receive, right? So you've stepped back, but Spirit is saying, right, whatever heartache, we've got the Ten of Swords with the Five of Cups, okay? Whatever heartache you've got, we've got completion and hope. Fifteen, the Devil. All right, there's shadows in there in the past that are blocking you from receiving this. And spirit is saying, okay, to take the next step forward, you need to be open. All right, so let's get some advice moving forward for Aries. Moving forward for Aries. Okay, Aries, Spirit's saying you can't just be in your heart about the emotions, okay? It does take, you can't just stand there on that wand, that seven of wands, and just be like, nope, I'm not moving. Your ego is constricting you. Your mind is constricting your heart, okay, from being open to receive. So all you're getting is the emotional turmoil, Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Wands here. Okay, bound by this snake. And she feels comfortable being bound by this snake, right? I'm comforted with having this snake keeping me in place. I'm comforted by being in this zone where I don't have to open up. And that's because of the past. Nine of Air, again, okay? The sweet things in life have hurt me, so therefore, I'm not going near them. All right? 
but you don't get that sweet nectar unless you go near them. The clarity, again, Ace of Swords, it's already been laid out for you. Again, I feel like the frequencies, listening to the frequencies will help you in opening up to that wish. We've got Mother Spider, who's my totem, okay, here, stringing this harp. And one of the things that she's strung in here is your wish. So as you listen to the frequencies, it's going to open up what you desire, what you secretly desire, that you have not been allowing, okay? This comes right in line with some trade their dreams for comfort, yet comfort is the enemy of progress, okay? The secrets here, the hiding of what you truly desire, all right, that is blocking your progress. So let's clarify here. Why are you holding yourself back here? Five of Cups, okay? You still have hope for this, and yet you're running. You're the runner. You're running from this because you just want to hide back in your shell, but you've transformed too much. You don't fit in that shell, okay? You cannot go back to your shell, Hermit, all right? The emotions that are coming up here for you is because of the awakening that you're feeling with the Divine Masculine, Okay, but know that this is the judgment. The Divine Masculine is coming out in all of their glory to make a choice here. And that could be this King of Cups, because it's laying right on top of it, and what you're so afraid of. Nine of Air, okay, is crossed by Page of Wands. You don't want to start all over. You don't want, um, you know, to take a risk. I get that. But this is about discovering what is sweet for you. What is going to be there for you. The Ace of Swords <laughs> with the Magician in reverse. Like, you don't believe you're manifesting this. Again, I feel like this is why we've got the third eye chakra in reverse for the divine partnership because you don't see it and you don't believe it but yet it's still true okay the secrets here seven of swords ten of wands okay is that your heart knows where it wants to go we've got the giraffe right your heart knows where it wants to go but between the Ten of Wands and the Heartbreak of the Ten of Swords, you're just, you're not taking that path right now. So what's going on? Let's get deeper for the Divine Feminine in this situation. So for the Divine Feminine, okay, we've got the Five of Swords. Like you are surrounded by your intuitive nature. And the fact that this has already birthed, because she's holding this baby, this has already birthed. And yet, <laughs> the Five of Swords, you're like, nope. Uh uh. Disbelief. Okay. It's like you're looking right at it. And, you, you know, it's kind of like they're showing me it's like being colorblind because my husband is very colorblind. My daughter is just slightly colorblind where she can't really tell the difference between teal and blue. They look exactly the same to her. So you're looking at this teal baseball cap and it's blue. You refuse to see that it's teal. No, it's blue. No. It's blue. Blue is my favorite color. And that's my favorite color. It's blue. All right. Okay. Divine Masculine here. <laughs> Waiting. Just hanging out, curing. Arms crossed in front of them. 
but it's not crossed in a blocking energy. It's crossed in a self-love energy. Okay, do you see the way the arms are crossed there? Okay, so the hangman, that's something that we often misread, right? Um, there's a difference between this and this. When someone is talking to you and they are like this, they're loving themselves while protecting their heart. When someone's like this, they're blocked. Okay, this hanged man is not blocked. This hanged man, this masculine, is just loving on themselves and hugging on themselves while they are waiting for this to happen. Right? Protecting their heart, yes. What's going on between the two? Okay, again, there is a cycle ending the world and the five of cups okay and i feel like this is very much in the divine feminine's energy like you've got to open up to receive the unicorn that you don't believe exists which is this love all right so let's go ahead and get a universal love oracle okay Get you a little oracle of love for Aries. Okay. Yeah, again, right? What you are seeking is the recognition, all right? And to be the star of the show. But where you truly want to be the star of the show is it's in your heart. You want that love. You don't necessarily, even if you are seeking it at work, it's because it is for your love language, right? Your love language is to be acknowledged. Okay. So, all right. Let's see what you need to work on. What does Aries need to work on? Through all of this, we got two. Number one, okay, you've got to liberate yourself and you've got to be adaptable here. Okay, your trigger is what happens next, right? You're afraid of this. What happens next? The true statement is, I am divinely connected, okay? Dear soul, please remember that you never walk alone. Dear soul, please remember you never walk alone, okay? As well, <laughs> resonance. Know that you are, you know, in resonance with this. The trigger statement, though, is I am right. Seven of wands, standing on top of that wand, refusing to leap. Because I'm right. All right. The true statement is, I am open to the unknown. You're being shown what is. Okay, hold on. Let me put on my glasses. It's hard to read on the yellow background. And I just heard the ding, ding, ding. Someone needs to hear this. Okay. You are being shown what is dissonant in your life. Allow that belief. Allow the beliefs that are not serving you to fall away and be open, right? Open to give and receive. Be open to your bright future. Okay? Be open to your bright future. All right? So let's close it off with some medicine from the shamans. Okay? A little medicine from the shamans for our Aries. Okay, Aries, <laughs> this third eye is transforming because of Leo season, because of the lion's gate, because of what's happening between the new moon and the full moon in Aquarius. This great mystery is opening up. 
trust the process, okay? Trust the process. You are getting support in your transformation from so many directions, okay? As you are getting it all from the light grid, as it's all, your future is already woven, okay? So trust this, allow yourself the transformation, and be open to receiving your love language, okay? So I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the week and I cannot wait to see you next time. All right, don't forget to click on that like, share the video, comment, subscribe, it all helps the channel. Okay, bye guys.